Hey guys, Luke here, and have you ever seen the macOS dashboard? You've probably only ever seen this if you've pressed the wrong function key on your Mac, or if you've done some sort of uh, weird mouse shortcut and you've ended up on this page. But, I mean, just look at it. The weather is completely wrong. I'm not in this location, and it looks like something right out of iOS 6. Uh, the date's wrong. The time zone is completely wrong. I'm not in Amsterdam, unfortunately. And this calculator looks so old-fashioned, and it actually takes up some CPU space on your computer. When you look at it in hindsight, it is just less than 1%, but when you're taking into consideration that some people might have an older machine, or you want to um, run something quite uh, CPU intensive, then every percent literally matters, and what's the point of having this thing running when honestly it's not going to be used? Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of it, and just obviously completely get rid of it, because there is no point in actually having it on your computer. So all you want to do is go up to Terminal, you can find that by just going to your spotlight search and typing in terminal. It's super simple to boot up. Don't be scared of it at all. I know people get really scared about using terminal, but really there's nothing much to this at all. You just want to go down to the description and in there you'll find a terminal command line. And basically you just want to copy and paste that into your terminal console window here. So you just want to command V to paste it. And it's just default space write space com.apple.com uh, dot dashboard uh, space mx uh, dash disabled dash bool uh, and true kill all doc. Uh, so it's a bit of a complicated one. Don't ask me what that all means, but basically it just gets rid of the dashboard function on your Mac and basically you just want to click enter and it will just get rid of it and it will just uh, respawn your Mac slightly and then basically you just want to uh, type it in again and if you try and type in dashboard, it's not going to boot up because it doesn't exist on your computer essentially. So